Hey y'all, welcome to Summertime Tarot. My name is Summer and this is a pick a card reading for the week of May 12th to May 19th. So general guidance for the week, what you can expect, what you can look out for, messages, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have three piles. The first one we have here, this blue lace agate crystal. Okay, and the second pile we have here, I believe this is pre night. I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> um, but that's that one. And then the third we have here, Amethyst. Okay, so take a moment to, you know, ground yourself, center yourself, take a few deep breaths, and pick the pile that is calling out to you the most. The timestamps are in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one. All right, so if you picked pile one with this here blue lace agate, let's go ahead and see what you can expect for this week. Okay. Okay. Outside energy. So we have here eight of cups. So you could be experiencing, you know, well, looking at the image, you could just be feeling kind of overwhelmed with household duties, chores that, and it may be taking like an emotional effect on you. And so for this week, this is really about getting into a space emotionally where you feel ready and able to kind of conquer the world, I feel, and ready and able to move towards good times, good feelings, um, and like clearing out any kind of blockages emotionally mentally spiritually that may be holding you back that may be making you feel like stuck in a rut right um so let's go ahead and see what else comes out so we have here financial discipline okay so so you could have been experiencing some kind of financial difficulties that may have brought you to this kind of eight of cup space where you're kind of feeling kind of worn out kind of emotionally all over the place and so What's needed at this time, I feel, is really to get yourself situated and also with this, I'm kind of like clearing out any anything, any kind of clutter, any kind of emotional kind of baggage, anything that's still kind of holding you up that's kind of taking its toll on you, making you feel kind of stuck and stagnant. And so for this week, this could be, you know, focusing on getting your monetary, you know, your financial areas in check, getting disciplined um, in all areas, I feel. Also, just in your life, getting disciplined with, um, like, your hygiene, with your household, getting things kind of cleaned and cleared out, and making sure that, you you know, you kind of Stick to a routine is kind of what I'm getting. So sticking to a routine so that you feel emotionally able to kind of go about your day without feeling worn out or stuck and being sure that you kind of don't feed into anything emotionally that is going to kind of um, set you back or make you feel stuck again or just stagnant in any kind of way, right? Then we have Mutually Beneficial Venture. It says, there is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this relationship to benef benefit everyone concerned. So with this card, you could really be with this financial discipline. You could be um, thinking about some new venture, some new pathways that you want to take that are going to need your financial discipline, right? There, it's going to need for you to kind of, I don't want to say suck it up, but, <laughs> but that was the word that came to mind. Kind of like suck up any kind of, I feel with this eight of cups, any kind of fears or feelings of distress or, you know, feeling distraught, feeling overwhelmed with everything that, you know, you have to kind of get together in order to make this venture happen. So I'm kind of feeling like, you know, 
Um, if it has to do with money, making sure that you kind of, you know, budget, you plan. If this is about, you know, getting yourself into an emotional space where you feel comfortable enough to kind of give to your give to other people or just go out and, you know, be happier, more joyous. It's like um, needing to kind of implement a routine so that you're not um, feeling disheveled or overwhelmed with everything going forward so it's like looking out for your own good looking out for yourself making sure that you're good so that when you do you know present yourself to whatever situation this is you know that you're feeling your best and that you can provide and do what is best for everyone involved then we have um, Sagittarius Pluto north node okay so with these cards i really get the i get i really get the feeling that you're kind of wanting to or feeling feeling the need to kind of venture out and follow like your destiny follow your path and with this pluto here there have been some kind i want to i wanted to say setbacks some things that kind of brought you to this eight of cups where you know you may be feeling kind of distraught feeling like things aren't working or just feeling overwhelmed with a lot of things and so for this week it's really about getting disciplined and like I feel like I really just want to I just keep saying routine because that's kind of what I'm feeling with this card starting a routine getting things kind of situated in order and in order so that you can go out on and take this leap when it comes to this kind of with this north note this desire this this longing that you have, it could be, you know, a, a project, a, a relationship, anything that you're kind of wanting to, um, I feel like, explore and voyage towards, move towards with the Sagittarius here. Um, it could actually be with the Sagittarius um, um, or it could just be, you know, this is your energy where you're transforming with this Pluto. Things are kind of being un unearthed, cleared out so that you can move forward into um brighter days here with this eight of cups because after the eight you know there's the nine and the ten so let's see what else comes out we have the page of pentacles so yeah this could really be something um financial like some kind of um business project or career move that you want to make and so this week is really important that you get focused um that you start you know planning things out that you start you know taking the steps necessary to kind of get on the right track then we have the ten of cups see look ten of cups <laughs> um justice hangman and the fool okay so yeah with the with this i really feel with the hangman you could be feeling very like like I was saying with the Eight of Cups, kind of stuck, kind of stagnant, kind of like not knowing which way to move. And so this week is really about, um, it's really important that you get disciplined, that you kind of start clearing out, I feel like with this justice here, clearing out anything that isn't working for you, anything like with this, because, you know, we have the images of all the, um, the cups and everything. So like getting, like basically kind of like getting your house in order so that you are ready for this this um this venture this mutually ben beneficial venture right and so yeah because you're getting ready for, to take this leap with with this fool and so it's going to need i feel your undivided attention here with this justice it's going to need for you to focus and really be um, in a good emotional space so for this week it's really getting yourself emotionally ready i feel and disciplined and focused on what it is that you want with this here north, north node focused on what you want and kind of with this pluto clearing out any kind of past stuff any anything that's that you've been focusing on that isn't leading you leading you to what it is that you really want so like getting this cleared out so that you can move on and upwards to what it is that you want so that starts with, you know, starting a routine, saving your money, budgeting, planning, um, right? Because with the hangman here, you could be feeling stuck. But I feel like the message here is that you're not stuck. It's just this is your, your chance and your opportunity to kind of get your, get your ducks in a row, 
right? So we have here Melchizedek. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, so higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further, further progress. Yeah, so this is really, this week is really a time for you to kind of, I feel, get a handle on what's going on with you internally, right? So that you can start to move in this new direction here with the fool so that you know what it is that you that you want and you've created like a good space a good foundation for you to progress to this desired outcome that you have and so we have here the divine physician archangel Raphael. thank you Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body yeah so this could be you know um just getting like starting a new workout plan or starting um, like a, a new kind of routine where you're, you know, I don't know, like learning, learning more about this venture that you're trying to start up, right? So that's what it looks like is going to be going on for you this week. We have here for your um, self-care activities, we have sense. So really focusing on bringing in good vibes through your senses so like smell taste you know touch all that kind of good thing so that you your your vibrations are higher because you've um made yourself feel feel uplifted you know by sense and you know all that kind of good stuff so like aromatherapy um what else you know wearing your per your, your favorite perfume so that you feel good, um, all that kind of stuff. Then we have meditate. So yeah, really focusing, that goes well with the Melchizedek. So like meditating, getting your mind clear so that you kind of have a, a, a deeper understanding with this hangman so you know what it is, you know, need your focus so that you're not focusing on stuff that's kind of needs to be cleared out, but you're focusing on, you know, what's coming in, what you're trying to create right then we have focus yeah <laughs> uh so with this for your self-care like really um spending some time looking at things from a different perspective uh so you could you could you know try photography anything that kind of makes your eye, uh allows you to see things differently is what i'm trying to say so like um drawing even right anything that gets your eyes looking at things differently that get your mind seeing things differently right and then our affirmate or your affirmation for the week is my mind is an empty glass today i will fill it with only productive and beneficial thoughts and then the question for you to ponder when am i most likely to experience negative thoughts how can i encourage myself in these moments yeah so like it looks like for this week you know it's just it's going to be a time for you to kind of yeah get like disciplined in your mind and in your emotions right so like um if there's something that you're trying to do well it looks like here it is right with this mutually beneficial venture whatever it is you're trying to do getting your mind and in, in your emotions in the right space you know you could be experiencing or feeling like you know kind of overwhelmed um negative thoughts kind of coming in that's kind of like blocking you from kind of moving forward and so for this week is really about focusing on kind of clearing that stuff out so that you have like a a, a more positive and a better perspective about you know what it is you're trying to go out and conquer right and so for the crystal for the week we have amethyst intuition third eye chakra and i want to read from the book for this so let's go ahead and read the book's message for this amethyst all right it says your intuition is very strong right now notice any intuitive feelings or vision that you may be experiencing trusting your intuition because this is your inner self spirit guides and angels connecting with you they offer guidance and valuable insights into your life take time to 
Take time today to focus on peace and tranquility. As you relax, you will feel the answers to your questions coming forwards a lot more clearly. It's also a good time to join a meditation group, attend a spiritual workshop, or delve into a spiritual matter that interests you. This will help you to reconnect with your spirit guides and angels. Nurturing your intuitive connection will help being nurturing your intuitive connection will help being about self-healing on many levels and will also enhance your capacity to help others heal through words energy or even through a hands-on healing modality amethyst is the birthstone for the month of february drawing this card may indicate that next february will be a significant month for you amethyst is associated with your third eye chakra which relates to your intuition it can also be a very useful in helping you to heal any past hurts harness the power of amethyst to reconnect with your intuition today okay but that's all I have for you, Power One. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Please let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you and I hope to see you soon. I'm going to go ahead on to Pile Two. So if you picked Pile Two with this here crystal, this is what you can expect for the week. So... We have here as your outward energy, so we have the Eight of Wands. So yeah, this is a lot of fast-paced movement, a lot of, I wanted to say emails, messages. You could be, you know, have a lot going on around you, um, maybe even feeling a little bit hectic, like things are just kind of all over the place. Or, you know, this could be fast movement towards, you know, a goal, right? And then we have Rebirth. Okay, so yeah. So it looks like with this here Rebirth card and this Eight of Wands, it's like you're moving... Things are moving quickly for you, I feel, with this rebirth. You, you're you going through a transformation within yourself, um, but also I feel mostly like in your out, in your outward energy. So it could be, um, you know, in your, in your home, things are kind of changing, things are rearranging, that kind of thing. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, changes happening and it's, and it's like moving quickly. Um, then we have here, every step counts. It reads, there is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. Yeah, so that's, it looks here like you could be experiencing some kind of shift that's kind of happening on an external level so there are things going on around you that are changing that are you know rearranging and with this every step counts it's like needing to you know take your time take it easy not to you know feel too rushed or um to allow you know all the things that are going on around you to kind of get you um feeling stressed out or just all over the place with your energy right then we have sex sextile opportunity Neptune dreams and Uranus revolution. Okay, so it looks like here, yeah. So with this, with this Neptune and this Uranus, I, this, what I'm getting with this is almost like a, a rebirth or change when it comes to what it is that you want in life. So with this sextile here, like there's this opportunity for you to kind of go in this new direction. Um, and I feel like with this Eight of Wands, things are kind of moving quickly, or at least um, you may want them to. And so for this week, it's important that you, you know, take your time to kind of allow this change to happen, I feel, at its own pace, and not to kind of force anything, not to push too hard, um, not to move too fast, um, so that you are sure and aware of everything that's going on within you and around you and that you make the the best steps for you know yourself for the long term and so we have here temperance yeah there's a need for patience here in moderation we have nine of pentacles eight of swords eight of pentacles and the three of swords So with this temperance here, yeah, so with this eight of swords, I feel like you may be having a hard time or you may just feel like you're not seeing any kind of progress with what it is you're trying to create. And so there's a need for um, patience here. And I also feel like with this temperance and this nine of pentacles, um, a need for you to kind of heal yourself internally so that 
what it is you're creating on the out on the outside isn't affected by anything that you know may be going on with you internally so really for this week i really get the sense that it's it's important for you to kind of temper yeah temper yourself to get refocused on what it is you're trying to create and not so focused on what you would like to see in return i feel um not focus let me re <laughs> let me reword that so like focusing on the process and not so much on the outcome that you that you kind of desire um but spending time kind of with this every step counts you know working gradually towards what it is you want and i feel with this three of swords like you may be getting you may be getting ahead of yourself which may be um actually slowing your progress or make or causing like with this uranus causing like disruptions around you causing things to kind of go a little haywire so there's a need for you to you know refocus to to double down get back to you know center um also i feel with this eight of swords kind of thinking differently seeing things differently than what you may be thinking at this time so thinking in new new ways um exploring different options than what you may have been focused on um but not in like a sad or upset or angry way but like just exp like expanding your mind outside of just what you wanted or what you were focusing on right because with this eight of wands i feel like there's a lot of things going on there's a lot of you know energy a lot of action a lot of momentum that you're kind of bringing or at least at least is present within this situation so there's a need to really take your time and to kind of allow yourself to see how thing how you want things to unfold before moving too quickly or making any kind of rash decisions um but also i feel like not getting too stuck in your in your in your mind about you know how things are working out or if things are working out but really getting focused and grounded and paying attention to the little things the little details about what you're doing um yeah then we have krishna devotion it says trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally yeah with that with krishna here i feel like you may not be trusting that what you're doing is working or that you're moving in the right direction and there's a there's a need for you to you know kind of take your time and to um really be present in the moment and see all that you've kind of accomplished i feel with this nine of pentacles all that you've done and how all that you know all i can't speak oh my goodness and everything that you've kind of accomplished thus far everything you've done all the progress that you've made right so that you can truly see you know the direction that you want to head into without fear and without kind of like being too focused on getting there quickly or what have you then we have honor your feelings archangel hanio thank you hanio for supporting me as i honor my emotions you may be moving so quickly um trying to get to you know this goal, this dream, this aspiration. And I feel like with this three of swords, there are things that you may be missing or maybe kind of shoving off to the side. And so for this week, it's really important that you, you know, honor your feelings, as it says, honor your feelings, um, take some time to evaluate exactly, you know, 
where you are emotionally and how I feel like with this um, temperance, how that may be affecting your progress, how that may be affecting your actions, and what you're doing, right? Because with this um, Eight of Swords and this Eight of Pentacles, I feel like there, there could be a, a blockage. You may not be focusing as much as you want to, or you may be ultra focused to the point where you're kind of, uh, what's the word? overbearing or not um open to like any other like ideas or any other pathways right so there's a need for you to kind of with this three of swords take a moment to assess exactly where you are how you're feeling um what may be kind of what may need to be healed or adjusted so that the direction you're moving in can continue to add to you rather than kind of take away. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> and so for self-care activities for this week, we have play. So yeah, there's, yeah. You may be holed up with this Eight of Swords. You may be holed up kind of just ultra focused on work or your commitments. And it's, I feel like with this Three of Swords, it may be taking a toll on you. It may be kind of bogging you down. And so for this week, is it's really a need for you to kind of like have balance in both, you know, your current energy, you know, where you are and your future desires. So not getting so ultra focused on, you know, your goals that you forget to, you know, enjoy yourself and to appreciate where you are but also not get so um, caught up in where you are that you forget to focus on the things that you you wish to, you know, receive or create, right? And so then we have also bath. So yeah, so maybe take a bath this week, you know, a, a cleansing bath, you know, spend some time getting in touch with your emotions. This can also bring about... Um, with this Neptune more you know a deeper understanding of just your desires what you want um, what you're feeling and how to best utilize them and also healing with this temperance so you know focusing on healing this week healing any kind of um, wounds or anything that may be holding you up when it comes to moving towards um, your dreams and your desires anything that may be stopping you from changing in a positive manner so then we have ritual so yeah you could do a ritual this week um, maybe set some intentions for what you'd like to bring in any changes you'd like to make in your life and really you know get focused on that putting in that work and so your affirmation for the week we have my mind is light even during the darkest day and the question to ponder how can i focus on positive energy today what can I do to shift my thinking should it become negative? Okay, and your crystal for the week, we have Malachite. And I'm going to go ahead and read from the book for the crystal. So let's see what the message is. So it reads, Mother Nature is... I guess I should hold this up. <laughs> Mother Nature is calling to you. This is why Malachite has appeared for you today. Have you been spending too much time indoors with air conditioning, heating, and fluorescent or LED lights? When was the last time you spent a decent amount of time outdoors or in nature? It is time for you to reconnect with nature, to feel the grass, dirt, or sand under your bare feet. Perhaps you may even like to walk through the water at the seaside or in the shallow parts of a running stream or lake. It is so important for you to ground your ener energy through your feet and hands. Grounding your energy in nature is very simple. You may like to touch a tree or some leaves or a bush or to feel the sun on your face and the wind in your hair. These simple things all help you to reconnect with nature and in doing this, you are reconnecting with yourself. Plan a day trip or holiday to your favorite destination, one which has a natural element to it. Notice how wonderful you feel when you are there and how great your energy is when you return home. Yeah. So... I feel like, you know, there's a need for balance here between, you know, work and play, you know, but that's all I have for you, pal, too. I hope this 
reading helped you in some way, please let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you and I hope to see you soon. I'm going to go ahead on to pile three. So if you picked pile three with this here amethyst crystal, this is what you can expect for the week. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have your hermit. Okay, so with this hermit here, you could be, you know, for the week, just really focused on yourself, focused on getting yourself right, right? With this image, you could be studying, you could be, you know, connecting with the divine or just getting really focused on you know, yourself, healing yourself, understanding yourself. Um, yeah. And so we have here change. Yeah. So there, it looks to be this week is going to be a time for a good deal of like internal change, almost like a, a shift within yourself, a shift within your thinking of how you're feet, how, of how you're feeling, how you're viewing yourself, how you're viewing life, that kind of thing. Right, and so we have here leaping through the air. A plan you have made is on track. If you are waiting for something, get to work and stop putting off ideas or projects you are considering. So you could be um, in a space where you've kind of gotten a deeper understanding about you know some things that you want to change in your life um, for the better. And so with this leaping through the air, you know, there's a feeling there's a need for you to get to move forward to start making progress towards this goal. And so for this week, it's really about taking the time out to kind of understand, you know, how to move forward, what to do. And so we have here third house perception, cancer and fourth house okay yeah so i feel like for this this week this is really a a time where you're kind of shifting and changing within how you how you feel about yourself how you feel about you know where you are at this current time and what you can do within yourself and within your current space and current environment to kind of shift and change that into a into something that feels more like you that feels more like you know what you'd like to see kind of grow and progress within your life so we have here the emperor the nine of wands the devil the knight of wands and strength okay so yeah so with this devil here you may be you know having a hard time with you know uh maybe fears about you know what needs to change or if things will change that kind of thing and i feel like with this knight of wands there's this kind of new discovery, this this discovery of self, that just this discovery of what you know what it is you would like to do going forward. And with this strength card here, there's a need for you to realize, you know, just how powerful and strong you are within yourself, how able you are to create the change that you want in your life, um, and not to find yourself kind of stuck, um, kind of going over and kind of mulling in kind of with this cancer kind of i feel kind of stuck in your feelings <laughs> i hate to say it but um so there's a need for you to kind of i feel with this nine of wands to kind of face your fears to kind of take yeah take your power back with this emperor and to realize that you are in control, that you can make the changes that you desire, that you can create, you know, the life, everything that you desire. You have the power within you. And, you know, there's no need for you to be afraid or to hold yourself back out of fear that, you know, what you're going up against is stronger than you or has more power than you or that, you know, because this, I feel like this could be also... Um, you kind of 
having like a, a awakening about, you know, where you come from and how it kind of affected you and how it continues to affect you and affect what you're doing in your life. And so for this week, it's really about um, really deciding what you want to do going forward about this kind of new discovery that you've had and trusting that you can make the changes that you desire to impart in your life. Okay, then we have Paul the Venetian experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming your way. Yeah, so with this hermit, you could be um, really kind of feeling lonely or feeling left out or feeling like under uh, misunderstood. I want to say with Paul the Venetian, like an awakening, a kind of um, an opening up of your heart, right? Because look at the look at the flowers, kind of like an unfolding, an opening where you are kind of allowing yourself to be where you are and not to feel kind of stuck or um, powerless about, you know, where it is you would like to go or what it is you would like to do. So for this week, really, you know, I feel like it's important to for you to kind of explore your options, to kind of spend time doing the things that you feel, you know, called to do. Allowing yourself to be you, not getting, you know, caught up in how people see you or how people view you, but trusting that, you know, you are amazing within yourself and that the things that you desire are going to come to you, but also you need to, you know, start working towards them and not kind of, I feel kind of expecting them to kind of just show up. Um, but, you know, putting out what you would like to receive, that kind of thing. Then we have here trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Yeah, so you could, yeah, with that, you could be kind of feeling, like I was saying, like alone, um, disconnected from folks. And so I really feel like, I really feel like with this Knight of Wands here, you know, this is you kind of go going out there, um, breaking free of this kind of fear of not being, I feel, accepted or being good enough. And so this week is really all about, you know, Putting yourself out there, um, living in your truth, you know, all that good stuff. Then we have here for your self-care, we have beauty. So yeah, I feel like this is, for this week, you know, putting on something, getting dolled up basically, right? Um, expressing yourself through your looks, um, you know, be that makeup, hair, clothing choice shoes hair color whatever it is right so getting your outside to match your inside right or vice versa whichever <laughs> right if you if you feel like um you're pretty on the outside but you're not feeling too good on the inside maybe you know there's there's a need for you this week to kind of focus on your internal so if you're feeling good and beautiful on the inside but you don't feel like your outside is matching, right? Spend some time this week getting dolled up, getting cute, going out there, but not to impress anyone, but just, you know, for yourself, right? And then we have water. So yeah, drink your water or, you know, spend time by the water, go to a beach or a lake, or just, you know, listen to soothing waterfall sounds on the youtube okay <laughs> um then we have tidy up so yeah like cleaning up i really feel like this is kind of like also kind of internal um cleaning you know um clearing out any kind of negative feelings or thoughts that you may be holding on to and kind of shifting your mindset about that Right, and so for your affirmation for the week, you have, I am loved and cared for, not only by my friends and family, but also by myself. 
And so your question to ponder, it says, when was the last time someone did something for you, even if very small? When was the last time I did something nice for myself? Yeah. So for this week, I really feel like this is you, you know, getting to a space where you are kind of content and happy within yourself and allowing that feeling to kind of be transferred out into, you know, the world, kind of expressing your who you are, not being afraid to um, go out there, show your true colors, right? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. But your crystal for the week, we have clear quartz, meditation, crown chakra. So let's go ahead and read from the book for that. So we have, it says, today is a wonderful day for you to reconnect with who you are and what you'd like to become. Your spirit guides and angels are trying to help you to connect with them. Ask them for help on any matter and listen for their response. A great way to tune in with them is by calming your mind and meditating. When you meditate or connect with spirit, it's important that you protect yourself psychically. Just imagine yourself surrounded by a bubble of white light and ask for protection from your spirit guides and angels. When you meditate, you also connect with your higher self, which can assist you to live with greater purpose and make progress on your spiritual journey this lifetime. When you take time to develop a more conscious relationship with your higher self, you also tap into guidance from the wisest part of your being. You don't need to just sit still to meditate. You may like to meditate by running, walking, swimming, or listening to music. The important thing is that you take time out to calm the mind and focus on the present moment. Remember also to re-energize yourself regularly with good food, ex exercise, and a positive outlook on life. Okay? But that's all I have for you, Pal 3. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Um, please let me know down in the comments how it resonated for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you and I hope to see you soon.